Fred from Radio, I'm Matt Micucci from the 75th Venice International Film Festival and I'm very pleased to be joined by filmmaker Putipong Arunpeng. Uh, thank you very much for joining us. Yes, thank you for inviting me. You're presenting the film, uh, Manta Ray. Uh, would you like to introduce the film for our listeners? Just tell us a little bit about it, the story or whatever you would like to say to start off our conversation. <laughs> yeah, this uh, very difficult what point I should tell I know. now. <laughs> really going to be a spy film. Uh, <laughs> That's why I never say it myself. Okay. Because <laughs> I don't want to spoil anything. But yeah. I guess we okay. could start off with what inspires this story? Because I know that it's also inspired by things that are happening at the moment. It's okay. very current events. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, the, the film is about the, the migrant. The migrant is a kind of refugee crisis around the world. And so I kind of just want to, 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 to take the audience to... to to be conscious about this kind of issue now, mm. yes, kind of resting the issue for this. Do you think that the audience isn't really uh, familiar with it, or doesn't there is? It's not represented enough, or at least not in the way that you represent it in this film. Yeah, I, I have watched uh, some kind of the Le Fuji movie, kind of, kind of this stuff, and I, I feel it. Most of movie put kind of sympathetic, kind of sympathy and uh, yeah, sympathetic. I, I, yeah. yeah, sympathetic. Yes, I, I don't want my film to be like that. I, I just want to yeah. to get uh, my own language and I don't know tell the different story. And like, why the the manta ray? Why is manta ray? Uh, yeah, it's it's, a, me- it's it's an interesting metaphor, but it's not metaphor for me. <laughs> it's not a metaphor. Yeah. Well. It, uh, it's many many years back that I, I I was diving in the Andaman Sea. Andaman Sea is the where the, the place is a kind of marine marine term. It's a borderline between the Thailand and Myanmar. It's kind of big ocean there, and I met one big creature. It's a very really black and huge one. It's the manta ray. The first time I met, and I feel very really scared of that yeah. at the first. But yeah, when I when I learned that about them, when I study more about the manta ray and. I, I just know that it's kind of very really friendly animal, yeah. right? Yes, and yeah, and and uh, mandarin has a wing. It's like uh, we make the image of the dove to be kind of uh, image of the freedom, world freedom, right? The dove, the bird. It's uh, a fascinating animal, right? Yeah, it's very fascinating, mm. but also frightening. Yeah, I like right, that. Right, I like. Right, right. But I also like the way that you said it's not a metaphor for you. Mm. So it is a starting point. Is, would okay. it be a starting point? Is it? Mm. You know, I, I named the uh, the Mandarin to be the title of the film at the end of shooting. Around it, I don't know middle of the shooting. Uh-huh. I just changed. It. Just something just pop up in my mind. Yeah. I, I I I want to put just want to put the Mandarin. I don't know why. I cannot tell the reason why. <laughs> Let's talk about the story. I feel okay. like this story, you said you didn't want to make a sympathetic film, yeah. and I, I totally agree, this film isn't sympathetic. But also I feel like the story is very mysterious. There's a lot that isn't said, and there's a lot that maybe the viewer doesn't know about for mm-hmm. a while. Okay. Can you explain to me th- about the construction and about your intentions uh, <laughs> with this, as far as the story is concerned? Okay, I have to tell you something. It's like a, my script is really 30 pages. Uh-huh. Yeah, and very short. <laughs> I, I know what, what, what you try to ask me is a scene of like in the forest with the kind of the, the lighting, the, the gemstone like that, right? Uh, beautiful. It's a beautiful, is beautiful it? Beautiful scene. Okay. Uh, how can I say? I, I don't know, it's, it's really abstract for me to, to, to explain by word, but I just feel really fragmenting. It's, I, I think the forest is kind of really organic way that when we look at the forest and uh, there's some kind of light electric LED light with the sparking sound noise mm. is kind of a strange object to, to, to be there. Like a human makes something into the forest. Yeah. That's just I feel that, that and I make that without the, any script. So <laughs> we went to shoot that and throw the LED light with it without any preparation, that's all. Wow. <laughs> Do you feel very close to nature? Uh, mm, yeah, I, I was born and grew up in, in the city, actually. But yeah, I, I, I love nature. You grew up in the city, but you love nature. That's interesting. So no, but why, uh, do, why uh, do you think that is? 
some people grow up in the city and they don't like nature at all. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Never heard of that. I think everyone loves nature. You think so? <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, why are we destroying the earth at the moment? Yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> you don't know? I don't know. We have to raise that issue. So, do you want to raise that issue with your uh, with your films, uh, or you no? Maybe the next film. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Tell me about this uh, this the use of nature then in a film about uh, refugees. Nature and refugees. It's not something that immediately comes to mind. Okay. So it's very unique. I think it's very original. But okay. why? Where? Uh, you know, when I start uh, the script, the treatment, I didn't start with the character or the story. I start the movie by the location. My movie have to be shot in the borderline, and I, I, I just pick up the borderline, which is a natural borderline between Thailand and, and Myanmar. Actually, I, I try to search around, but, but uh, I don't know. I, I, I love the Thailand and Myanmar more. Yeah, and the borderline is um, the ocean called Andaman, the Iron Mandarin. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I start with that location, that's why it's a lot of nature there. I see. So you start with the location and start then you see, the... what can I do? Right, like I that. I see. So it's, it's, it's quite an unusual approach, I think, but this is how you like to work. Yes. Can you tell me about the music in this film and the sounds? I think the sound is very important in setting up the atmosphere. We've talked about the visuals, but I think that the whole film is a sensorial experience. So hearing and sound is also very important. Yeah, the sound, we got the two musicians from France, uh, Christine and Matthew, actually, they're there. Right. And yeah. You know, the, the way that I work, I, I don't put some kind of specific idea into the, another field that I don't know, especially the sound of, or the music. <coughs> I, I, I don't know, I, I, I am a kind of visualized person and the sound is not my, my profession. But we share to work with that. I show uh, the, my, my music composer about mm. the image then what sound that you hear from my images, then just that kind of music is come up. So yeah, so they took sounds from the, the mo like the humming. So I've oh, seen no, the movie. No, no, but, but the humming, yes, yeah. yeah, yeah. so that is the end. Yeah, they take the humming, the people but, uh, who, the, for the music, that happened before, right? That yeah, you, to, 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 to think now is, you know that the humming voice, only the humming, that voice that I record myself by myself. Ah. I mean that I record the, the voice from the Rohingya okay. refugee by yeah. myself. I, I just drive around this country to 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 find them. Yes, and record only the voice which is you cannot defy nationality or even you you don't know whose voice. Right? Yeah. Yes. This, this man has no voice. He has no name. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, he has so that was an important part. Right. Yes. Thank you very much for joining us. It was okay. a great pleasure talking with you. Thank you very much. <laughs> I right. wish you all the best. All right, thanks. And this is Fred Film Radio, the Festival Insider.